Hi everyone, welcome to another time lapse video. This is sketch number 8 from the sketching Ho Chi Minh City series of tutorials that I have been creating for the last two weeks. So, this time lapse is just a condensed version of the full length tutorial. If you want to support me and my YouTube channel, you can support me on Patreon and you can get to watch the full length tutorial. I will be bundling all the 8 tutorials on Gumroad so I'll release them very soon you can check that out on Gumroad probably next week or two weeks later the links to Patreon and Gumroad will be in the video description below the building that I'm drawing today is the Saigon Opera House I'm using a sailor fountain pen with a zoom nib I'm using this pen because I like the bow lines, they are very strong, very striking. Rather than using watercolor, I mean the different colors of watercolor today, I'll just be using a monotone wash of Daniel Smith's Soda Light Genuine. I'll mix it with some burnt sienna to get some variation, but otherwise I'll just be using a tonal wash for today's sketch. There was actually a wedding happening that day so you can see in the reference photo there's the bride and the groom the bride was wearing a large red dress so it's very striking so they were doing the photoshop on the steps right in front of the opera house and that's what i'm trying to draw now i'm drawing the tourists and also the steps those are the steps you don't really have to draw a perfectly straight line in order to tell people that it's a straight line. I mean, this is drawing. Even if your line is a bit wavy, people will still be able to tell that that is a straight line because this is drawn by hand. There's no way that you will be able to draw that line so perfectly straight unless you are using a ruler. So every little imperfection is actually sometimes it really adds to the characteristic or maybe the personality of your sketch the opera house is a very beautiful building i did not actually go inside i just stood outside to take this reference photo so i took the reference photo during evening time and the sun was casting shadow on the bottom half of the building if I'm going to add shadow to the bottom half of the building, it's going to look a bit strange. So for today's sketch, I'm not going to add that shadow. I'm just going to add shadows to the areas where the walls are turning. For example, areas underneath the sheltered areas, areas where the form will change. Because when you add shadows, well, the idea of adding shadow is something is casting the shadow. So if I add that shadow to half of the building, the person who is looking at the sketch, he doesn't see what's casting that shadow. So he may get, he or she may get a bit confused. So that's why. This sketch is sort of like a study of tonal values for me. When I started using watercolor, I spent several months using water-soluble graphite just to practice my tonal values. When you read instructional books or watch tutorials or learn from other artists, they will say that understanding tones, practicing your tonal values, um, that's very important. And the reason why that is important is because you are actually using the tones, the values, to create contrast. By the way, tone and values, they are interchangeable. So when you use values to create contrast, people will be able to see what you're trying to draw. If you look at a black and white photo, it's basically just a mixture of tones in different shades, in different gradation. All those things work together to make that picture. So even if there is no color, if you get your tones correct, if you get your values correct, you can make a very compelling piece of art. What I just said is just a very brief description or explanation of how tones work. So, for
for this particular sketch, I used three tones. I used a very light wash for the walls and also for the road. And I used a second wash to get the shadow areas. And then I used a very dark concentrated wash of soda light genuine for the roofs and for all those areas that appear to be black. So I just used three washes for this particular sketch and I left all the areas that are white uh, untouched. This sketch is almost done. I'm going to look around the sketch to see areas where I have missed out on coloring or areas where I can improve. So for the windows, I colored them almost black, but because I cannot, can no longer see the window frames, I use the white gel pen to draw in those frames. And this is the completed sketch. So you can see the soda light genuine, the pigment is so granulating, it's very textural. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy this. Remember, if you want to support me on Patreon or Gumroad, the links are in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.